What's up guys, F -f -f Fred here, <laughs> your best friend that will teach you Photoshop from A to Z. And today we are going to create this kind of artwork and as you can see it's a pretty interesting poster and we got all the squares here and it looks kind of glitchy and I'm also gonna show you how to create a different variations of this poster for example maybe you want glitches like this so as you can see here we have for example more squares and uh, they are more distorted or maybe you have some maybe you want something like this when it's smoother and it looks like it was drawn by hand and it looks cool anyway so let's get started Let's press create new and start creating our wonderful project. So first of all, make sure width is 1000, height is 1 to 50, resolution 300, color mode RGB color and let's press create. And make sure it's pixel selected here, okay. And make sure artboard is not selected. Let's press create. I have to repeat that every time, almost on each and every my tutorial. So just, every, just you know, for people who come new, so they don't make any mistakes. So now let's take our image and place it inside Photoshop. Just take it from your folder and place it here. Let's make sure there is no space left on the left and right. So we'll just make this bigger. So like this. Tank. Tank. Perfecto. Okay. Let's press OK now. So the first thing we will need to do is actually we will need to cut him from the foreground. So we will need to cut this guy and uh, background. We will need to separate them basically. And... Uh, Let's go to layers and let's delete this background layer because we don't really need it. It's always there. I don't know why. I hate this thing. <coughs> it's so fuck. Sorry, it's so useless. <laughs> yeah, so, so there are, of course there are different ways that we can uh, delete, delete the background here, but um, we are going to just use quick selection tool. So let's just go here, press right, and choose quick selection tool. Okay, and uh, make sure you have selected your image. And let's now just make sure you have here plus selected. And make sure just we just start selecting this guy like this, like this. Just select it. Boom, 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 boom. So let's get closer. Okay, it doesn't have to be perfect, but uh, it's uh, better if it if it looks good. So something like that should be fine. Okay, and as you can see, now we have this also selected, so let's take min minus and let's just press here so we don't uh, have this part selected because we don't need them. They are useless. Okay, now when we have done that, let's go to select and mask. Select and mask basically will help us to uh, make sure we have selected only the things that we want to select. And for example, here as you can see, we are missing some of the hair. And uh, for example, we don't need this part, so what we can do, we can just take this tool here, the second one. And uh, let's make our brush a little bit bigger. So I'll just go here, increase the size. Uh, this is fine. So for example, now if I draw, it will try to select the hair, as you can see. Or if I draw here. So basically this tool help, helps us to select the like small places, like hairs, for example. And I can draw it automatically, will define the hair, basically. And uh, like this. Or also if I draw here, as you can see, deleting the white spaces. So it doesn't only add here, but it also deletes the white spaces, basically. And that's so perfect. Look. Look. Boom. So uh, yeah, in case you didn't understand, everything that is red is actually not inside the selection. So we can just draw, 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 draw. Draw, draw, draw. Okay, so let's now press OK. So now when we did that, what we actually need to do, let's create a copy of this. So I'll just press right here. Uh, let's go to duplicate layer. Okay. And when we did that, so let's also delete this from here. Delete this mask because we actually need one when he has when he's not animated. So what I actually need to do right now. So we separated, if we turn off this thing, as you can see the background is gone. But now we also need a second layer where we actually have only the background. So let's turn off the upper image basically. So now let's go and uh, create a new layer here. Uh, let's now go and take this tool, which is basically spot healing brush tool, and it will help us to delete this guy from here. And uh, let's go make sure you type is content aware, make sure you select sample all layers. Okay, that's very important actually. Mode is normal. And let's just try to select this guy. So, for example, if we just draw and make to select all of his body at once, like this. Perfect. Let's see what we get. Come on, Photoshop is thinking. Boom! And now let's also um, 
this is this part so we just draw 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 oh come on we have to do that again so as you can see we have to repeat this and boom perfect background is gone <sighs> oh my god that was stressing i have to look at some funny pictures <laughs> Come join the fun! It's a graveyard! <laughs> no! <laughs> what? Okay, now I'm ready to continue. Now I have enough energy. What the f Okay, so now when we did that, uh, for example, now what we can actually see if we turn, if we uh, bring this guy back. So now we have him separated, and now we also have the background separated. And that's what we need. Good job, guys! Perfect! Perfecto. So now when we did that, uh, let's the first thing we should do is just select this image, press right and choose convert to smart object. Like this we will make sure that this is now, like the mask is inside this smart object so it's not separated anymore. So now let's go to filter and distort and let's go to wave. That's actually the filter that we are going to use in order to create our wave effect, basically our squares. So here we have different parameters and we'll have to use the right parameters in order to create what we actually need. So for example, here for, as you can see, we have number of generators, then we have wavelength, amplitude and scale. Okay, so, and this control, what kind of wave we are going to have. For example, let me just make these number generators higher. And as you can see, we have here lots of different glitches like that. And let me just make it smaller, for example. As you can see, we have less glitches and getting closer to the real image. And then we have here types of glitch. For example, no, right now I have squares, but we also have triangles. We have also a sign here, which is kind of like this. Triangle, you know what's triangle, right? And square is uh, what we are going to use. Then we have here, for example, waveform. As you can see, when we increase it, uh, in general, the distortions is getting bigger. And I'm, gonna, I'm not going to explain all of them, but you can just play with them to see what they are actually doing. If you want to have the exact effect that we had on our poster, what you actually should do. So first of all, put the number of generators to one. And then let's decrease the wavelength to something like that. And this also to something similar to that. And let's now press OK. So now when we do that, as you can see, we already start getting this kind of effect, the effect that you want. So now when we did that, we are going to have here wave. So this is all automatically applied to our layer. And if you want to change it, you can just press twice. And so for example, I press twice on wave. As you can see, it's open again. Now we can press on randomize. And every time we're going to press on randomize, it's going to bring us different type of waves. Let's press OK. And you see it's different now. So again, as I said, you can just play with this wavelength form. Let's make this smaller, press OK, and it looks different again. You can just play with this, or you could also play with amplitude uh, to make sure that, as you can see, they're getting more out of the body. And uh, let's press OK, and it looks like this now. Wow! So let's go back. And uh, another thing I would like to show you is how can we can actually make this smooth, as I showed you on uh, this image here, because that's also a cool effect. When you have this, let's go to filter and then to stylize and go to oil paint basically so this actually as you can see brings this kind of liquid smooth effect and here again we have different parameters and you can play with them or you can just copy my parameters in order to have the exact this, this effect B so basically they just control how big are going to be these lines and let's say stylization you can just press here and then you see what's actually happening there not as smooth if I bring the stylization up then much they're much smoother and so on let's just press ok and here we have right now two effects filters basically all paint and wave that are the filters that help us I always fix <laughs> I always mix effects and filters but uh, these are two different things so these are basically the filters that will help us to create this artwork do you like it no But I tried so hard. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, I really hope you enjoyed this artwork. And don't forget to subscribe to see more crazy, unique tutorials. Because I try to stand out from uh, all other tutorials on YouTube. I try to do unique stuff, unique artworks that you have never seen before. And I think I'm doing good so far. What, you don't think so? <laughs> Whatever. Bye. See you on the next tutorial. And just a small ad in the description below, there is a free Photoshop course that will take you, take you, what? Take you from zero to 
Pro and help you create amazing, magical stuff. <laughs>